my future relationships gonna be real 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 different how different you just gonna have to see how different when i get into that different relationship which ain't gonna be no time soon ever because you know what these hoes ain't loyal and i'm good you know the vibes it's jay What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. Already know. Welcome back to J Vibes. With a whole lot of great vibes going on, big pair, you guys. I am about to head to work, but before I even go to work and get this bag, I need you to help me subscribe and also go to support the Shay Life. This is her YouTube channel, you guys. You already know the link will be in my description box. Also, pin in my comment section, you guys. She currently has 38 subs, so please. Let's help her. I need a good handful, more than a handful, about two hands, two feet of y'all. Real supporters, real genuine love with a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. Let's help her reach her first 100 subs, 200, 300. Let's help her get to her first thousand subs, you guys. Like, come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's so free to support one another because you never know when you're going to need help. I saying you're gonna need somebody to subscribe to your channel but you just may need help you may need help getting gas you may need help buying the new Popeye's chicken sandwich I don't know but take the time right now you guys to pause this video click the link in my description box click the link pin in my comment section it's that easy you guys just click the link subscribe support the Shay's life let's help her get her numbers up on her sub count now let me just tell you a little bit about her channel um She's new to this whole thing, you dig? Uh, she's ready for this new journey and to have fun with everyone. She hoped that she make you guys happy and you all love her videos. But not only that, she does a little bit of everything. She does mukbangs, vlogs, fashion overhauls, challenges. And she just want to build her channel up, you guys. And she came to me, Jake Vibes. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on. So make sure you let her know that I sent you, all right? And I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video. Get ready for Q&A part two. Peace. Now, where would you like to see your channel in life by the end of this year? 100,000! I said 100,000! 100,000 subscribers for this channel. Fitness channel get monetized. Alright? And with the weed too. I'll take some monetization over there as well. But for my life, by the end of this year, ready to move on out. Ready to ready to move out. Ready to turn my car in, child. Just ready, 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 ready. Everything paid, paid, paid all. And I'm just comfortable. And I'm not really stressing i'm not stressing nowadays i'm just doing a whole lot of grinding a whole lot of hustling by the end of the year i need to be planning my 26th birthday like where am i going am i going to go test the waters of houston hmm am i going to go to cali and do this dope ass music collab you know work on my EP it's a lot of things to do you guys <laughs> are you still coming to Dallas next month next month what is next month September planned on it I really don't know but I might for real you never know I'm not gonna say no I'm not gonna say yes because anything that's anything can happen with the what the power of Jesus Nah, but he can make a way for anything. So I can literally be planning out things now and it's a whole 360 literally within two months. I don't know if you know, but I do have a nine to five job. Um, the hours are perfect, okay? Because I can literally wake up in the morning, do what I need to do in the morning, in the afternoon, and by the evening, I'll be going to work. It doesn't stay open late. You know, I make my money, I go home, and that's just that on that big period so yeah i'm not gonna put a time frame on it on it but i'm i'm gonna be everywhere i promise you mark my words write it down because we're gonna go back to it and we're gonna scratch it off it always happens for me anything that i write down i literally eventually scratch off the list 
it never fails. What was your dream job as a kid and why didn't it happen? My dream job as a kid was to be a veterinarian. And I'm not gonna lie, okay? When I was going into like maybe middle school, probably high school, um, I think it's when we went into the recession. Don't get me to lie. I don't really remember. But my sister was like, when people money start to, you know, get stuck, basically. Who do you think they're gonna take care of? They self or they animal? And then all these, you know, the commercials about the dogs that be needing help, that came on out, out of nowhere. In the arms of and I said, the, the, the people, they're gonna take care of themselves. She was like, right. So, I thought about one day just being in the veterinary office and not having no pets come in for service. It made me feel some type of way. So then I switched it to a um, orthodontist. That's when I was going through the process of having my braces. And it's such a great environment. I'm talking about a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period, in and out, they're friendly. You know, their jobs seem easy, but I know, I know it's not easy. The reason why I did not fulfill it, child, went to college, went to a community college. I just really feel like, they were just giving me a run for my money. Literally. I'm talking about giving me math over again. Like I just took math in high school. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. And then the math that I was, they was giving me, I literally had already took them classes and them tests in, in high school and I passed. That's why I ended up in like geometry and AP math classes and stuff. I don't know why you try to take me back to a middle school math. I just feel like I was losing my time. I feel like I was losing my time, and then child, I got into it with my roommates, and I had to leave, and when I came back home, I changed my major all over again, and then I just started getting into entrepreneurship. And I was like, okay, I can do for myself, teach myself, I'm going that route, versus spending all this money and not really learning. But that's just my intake. Y'all go to school, I actually wanna go back to school. Eventually, eventually. I was actually supposed to go like last summer, but I was dedicated to a, a few nine to fives, okay? Um, I think something bit me, y'all. That's why I'm over here rubbing my face. Ooh. Honestly, how are you feeling mentally, physically, and spiritually? I am okay, okay, okay. Big period. I'm out here hustling and grinding and working and getting it. What have you learned? Not learned, though, Ruby, from your previous relationship. I learned to love me, honey. I ain't I just learned to just love me. Don't bite your tongue. Be blunt. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Feel how you want to feel because you ain't feeling how you feeling for no reason. You ain't crazy. You ain't crazy. Moving forward, how are your future relationships gonna differ from your past relationships? And this is the same person too, by the way, cause it's just, it's, I don't know. I, I don't know what I did say, what I didn't say in the, in the, I don't know. My future relationships gonna be real, real, real different. How different? You just gonna have to see how different when I get into that different relationship, which ain't gonna be no time soon ever, because you know what? These hoes ain't loyal and I'm good, okay? Do you plan on having children or in being married? I already answered the children part. Marriage, child. I want, I'm gonna be married. Oh, I'm gonna be married because like I say, and like I said in like a previous, video marriage is deeper than going to the courthouse signing papers you get my last name or you want a divorce you need to sign this prenup half of this is my half this is your. it is more of a commitment thing to me commitment love chemistry the bond you know what i'm saying it, it, it's just deep it's real deep so yes if you want to be with me if you want to be my lover you got to commit to me and i ain't playing i am not playing no games um, how do you handle life's obstacle? Girl, get through it. 
Get through it, you got to get through it. You can't go over it, you can't go backwards, you can't stop and pause and take a break. Get through it, getting through it. However you gotta get through it, you need to cry, cry. But when you stop crying, watch your eyes and get through it, okay? You fall, it's cool. Stand up, check yourself, but don't break yourself and get through it. What situation humbled you? Ooh. Ooh, um, child, I've been in a few humble situations, but uh, child, to be honest, I would say every month I'm humble because I put in all this work, all this work for my check to just pay my car payment. Literally, that's it, just only my car payment. Like, bitch, don't swipe your card after you pay your car payment because it's gonna get declined. Don't get the con. Am I genuinely happy? Yeah, I'm happy. You know, some days are hard. Some days it is what it is. I'm an Aquarius, I'm human, I'm a female. I have emotions, a lot of emotions. I'm very emotional. You know, but I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, girl. Do you believe in, I don't even know what that is. I need to look that up while I ask you this other question. What do you love most about yourself or what do you dislike most about yourself? I love that I am funny, for real. I love that I'm funny and I stuttered to say that I love that I love hard because sometimes I don't like that about myself because there's a lot of people that don't love like you, you know, or you expect yourself from somebody else and don't ever expect you from somebody else because first of all they ain't you they ain't gonna never do what you do how you do it how you it ain't gonna happen okay so um me loving myself can be a good and a bad but the most thing that i hate about myself for real it be my mouth because sometimes i can just talk myself in a situation that i can't talk myself out of or I can just not talk at all and make a situation. I mean, it, it, it can go either way, okay? And then let me look up this word, cause y'all know, I know you did that on purpose. I don't care though, cause that's why I got this good old phone to teach me when those around me can't teach Jesus, okay? A solid tie, so, a soul tie is at least in part a way you train your brain to respond. That's why they don't go away automatically. And that's what, that's why soul ties or bonds can form when a person has good intimate experiences with people who are on this Soul ties can feel like some, no. I ain't doing no damn soul tie. What about friendship? Friendship. Y'all, these questions was crazy, but they were lit, all right? For more videos like this, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel, like this video, comment down below, you know what I'm saying? Click all the links in my description box. Click your bell, turn on your post notifications for all freaking videos, you guys. I love you so much, J Squad, Pump Squad, you already know the vibes. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. And I'm signing out because it is 2.03 in the mid a.m. No lie, big period, no cap, and that's just that on that. And I just hope that you have a great day when you see this video. Be safe, I'm signing out to the next video, peace. Squad in the shit, pump squad is my clip. Baby girl, you ain't lit. Why you acting like you fuck with me? But baby girl, you bitter. Acting like you real, but baby girl.